Hi, I would like to officially welcome you all to our course COM380 or Advocacy and Social Mobilization. So in this course, uh, we will discuss contemporary principles in and approaches to advocacy and social mobilization in a changing social environment. Um, you will also have the opportunity to explore the uh, different theoretical foundations of advocacy and social mobilization, and you are uh, expected to gain a clear understanding of the contemporary approaches to advocacy and social mobilization programs and movements, both from the point of view of public and private enterprises. So um, specifically at the end of the course, you should be able to examine and articulate the theoretical foundations of advocacy work and social mobilization movements, discuss how advocacy and social mobilization activities and work might be employed as, an in, as, or as intervention strategies to meet community needs, create new service delivery systems, and promote social and economic justice. And as well as uh, also uh, demonstrate uh, knowledge and skills required in assessing social problems and applying appropriate approaches in mobilizing community interests, opinions, and action in the solution of community problems. So, um, of course, um, the uh, other courses, the theoretical um, underpinnings um, of uh, communication um, initiatives or works uh, will come handy, will be handy. Um, in this course as we continue to articulate the theories behind uh, uh, social mobilization, advocacy and social mobilization. So um, this course consists of 10 modules um, under three units. Uh, so um, initially we will be discussing the different concepts and theoretical foundation of uh, social mobilization. So we need to understand the basic concepts like social problem, social change, advocacy, social marketing, and social mobilization. And of course, uh, the theoretical foundation of advocacy as well as social mobilization. For our second or unit two, um, we will look at the planning and uh, implementation of advocacy and social mobilization programs. So we will look at the different models and framework for advocacy. Um, models and framework for social mobilization, implementation strategies for advocacy and social mobilization programs, as well as the new media advocacy and social uh, mobilization. So we will, we will look at how uh, the, the, the new media uh, can be used as platforms for uh, social mobilization and advocacy. For our last uh, part of the course, we will look at advocacy and social mobilization evaluation. So the different methodologies, quantitative and qualitative uh, methodologies, so we can evaluate um, advocacy and social mobilization programs, how we can collect data, how we interpret them, and how we can use this data or the results of our uh, evaluation and monitoring to um, improve uh, implementation of future uh, advocacy and social mobilization programs. For our course requirements, uh, there will be uh, three major uh, requirements or graded requirements. Uh, first is um, reporting uh, on the different modules and participation in online discussions. Um, you will also be uh, required to work as a group, um, collaborate with your fellow learners, and uh, plan a term project uh, on uh, communication and uh, social mobilization. So uh, it will just be up to that level of uh, plan, planning only, uh, but it, ha it should be ready to implement plan. So it means to say that up to the stage of monitoring, evaluation and monitoring, uh, you should be able to put that as part of your plan. And that will, be, that will constitute your uh, term project for this course. And um, the third major requirement or graded requirement um, is the final exam or the final assessment of learning. Um, in the course guide, I have also included um, a calendar, our course calendar, um, and the different schedule uh, or the schedule for the different activities that uh, we will be uh, doing for this particular course, especially uh, on uh, the um, deadlines, the different deadlines, uh, the reporting um, schedule um, for the entire semester. 
I have also uh, indicated the course policies, like for instance, uh, I will not be giving a grade of EXT for lacking requirements. So you'll just have to make sure that at the end of the semester, you will have completed all the graded requirements for this uh, course. I have also provided my own introduction uh, for the course. Um, so I am Dr. Uh, Mel. Uh, or Melinda de la Peña Bandalaria. I am a full-time faculty member at the University of the Philippines Open University and currently serving as its chancellor. So I've been, I have been teaching this course, Advocacy and Social um, Mobilization for the past 20 years. And I've been involved um, in um, actual, um, in, in projects. Uh, we are in uh, the different concepts of social mobilization, advocacy are also uh, being applied. So I am bringing uh, to our teaching um, environment, to our learning environment, my uh, various experiences in this uh, development projects. We are in uh, social, the concepts of social marketing, social mobilization, advocacy um, ha have been uh, applied or are being applied. So. Um, I have also uh, included um, in the course uh, requirements guide uh, the um, uh, different the, the, the rubrics or uh, how you should be evaluated for the different um, course requirements that you will be doing. So for the reporting, how you will be evaluated for the projects, what should be contained in the term project report, etc. And uh, so that you will also be guided on how you will uh, do uh, this particular, um, the, the, the specific requirements for this course. Um, of course, um, what else? Uh, the, um, what, what is important, as I think uh, you also know uh, from your other online courses or from the other courses that you have already taken under your program, is uh, our emphasis on academic integrity and how important it is for us that our students will be strictly observing academic integrity or prevent from engaging in any form of academic dishonesty. So for additional details um, about our course, about the course requirements, about how you will be evaluated, how you will be able to pass the course or even get a good mark, a high mark, high grade in this particular course, then uh, you can um, read uh, the course guide. Um, and if you have questions or clarifications, of course, you can always post them in our course site or send me an email. So I look forward to um, the semester um, of um, interacting, engaging in academic discussions with you. I know that um, as professionals, as uh, practitioners um, in the field of communication or in, in, in the other uh, professions um, that you're engaged in, uh, you will be bringing into our learning environment different experiences, ideas, thoughts, articulations on how uh, we can do advocacy and social mobilization. So I look forward to hearing those th thoughts, those ideas from you. And from there, uh, we can socially construct um, or build uh, the knowledge on advocacy and social mobilization. So with that, uh, I look forward uh, to our online discussion, our academic interaction in our course. So good day to all of you.